Your last couple of days, you got to be feeling it. Hit a grand slam yesterday. Hit a home run today. Yeah. How, talk, talk to me about how, how the game's feeling to you. Is it slowing down? Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm really, really performing well. I mean, uh, I haven't been hitting the ball well lately, and it's just good to start hitting the ball. Like I got that grand slam yesterday. I think that's really going to help me out, like with my confidence going up to the plate and everything. I, I'm seeing the ball a lot better. Talk to me about going to regionals. That's Oh, it's awesome. I, I can't wait. It's all we wanted. For the past few years, we just wanted to get there, so it's awesome. Take me back to that home run you hit um, early in the game, a solo shot. There's basically the difference in the game. What happened? Just walk me through that at bat. Uh, I mean, I just went up and I was just looking for a pitch I could drive because I was trying to get on base, and the uh, ball came right down the middle. It was a perfect one to hit, and I was able to take advantage of it. Awesome. Hey, congratulations. Well, Trent, congratulations. Making it to regionals. How, how, what, are you, what are you feeling right now? Uh, I don't know. Everything's coming at me. I'm super excited. Talk to me about how special it is to, to get to regionals, one, two, um, to do it against a team uh, that you play every year in the league. Um, does that make it a little bit extra special? Yes, it does, and especially them like ending our season last year and then us coming in here with a full head of steam knowing what we had to do to get it done, and we got it done. So. Talk to me about the difference of pitching with the lead and then pitching in a 0-0 ball game. Because it seemed like once you got the lead, you were, you were kind of a different pitcher. You were really aggressive in the strike zone. You attacked it a little bit more. Yeah. What was the difference? Um, when I when I did had the lead, I tried to just keep pitch, keep them all balanced. Knew that like anything could happen. So when I had the lead, I knew just throw strikes. If they get a hit, it don't matter. Like I don't know. It's just a different mindset when I had it in my head. As a senior, um, couldn't ask for a better gift being a senior to get to, to keep playing, keep your season going. Yeah, definitely. Hey, congratulations again. First of all, coach, congratulations on making it to regionals. Um, just your thoughts about getting there? It's like an like accomplishment. <laughs> Yeah, I'm real proud of the guys, you know, it was, uh, it was a tough game, you know, early on, but the guys were able to scrap out a few runs, Ray Padden had a nice double to score to, James Huglin, you know, hit a mm -hmm. nice, you know, home run, I think it was in, what, the fourth inning, mm -hmm. it was third or fourth inning, but, you know, Trent didn't give up any runs, so, you know, he pitched lights out today, I think he only had two or three walks, pitched contact real well, so. Talk, tell me about how tough it is to play a team three times in a year and still, and, and, and beat them all, and, be, and be, get, get a big win today. Well, you know, you know, it's one thing. We played them probably six times now in the last couple mm -hmm. of years, I think it is. And if you look in our dugout and you look in their dugout, there's tons of scouting reports on where people's hitting and pitch counts and what the other team's leading off with. And, you know, that really comes into play. You know, sometimes that works out for you, but sometimes it bites you pretty good. So, you know, tonight it worked out for us pretty well. Talk, talk about James Huglin. I mean, last night grand slam, tonight a solo home run, gets hit by a pitch, drives in runs. Was he just feeling it right now? Is he pretty good yeah, groove? I think the ball's starting to look pretty big to him. You know, sometimes <laughs> when you're up the plate, I know that ball looks about as big mm -hmm. as a volleyball, and sometimes it looks like a ping pong ball to him. Mm -hmm. I think the ball's starting to look pretty big, so, you know, uh, I'm proud of that young man. Talk about Trent today. I uh, went out and pitched a heck of a game for you. Seemed like at the end of the game, as, once he got the lead, seemed like he really just seemed to zero and even, even tougher and pitch even sharper. Yeah, he started working down really well. You know, the later the game got, the ball really started coming down. He started working the knees really well, spotting his curveball down there. Um, I think actually as the game went on, he was pitching a lot better. Mm -hmm. So he did a nice job. Anytime you throw, you know, zero runs in a district mm -hmm. final game, that's pretty good. Pretty good accomplishment. So. It is. Hey, Coach, congratulations again. Coach, um, <clears throat> tough one out here today. But so talk to me, talk to me about, your, about your team, the accomplishments you guys made this year after all the losses of, from players from last year's state team. Yeah, I mean, that was the thing we talked about coming in. We talked about coming in and, you know, ended the whole season that a lot of people thought we lost a lot, but I thought we had back a lot too. Okay? I thought a lot of people overlooked us, you know, from people in the school to outside. But, you know, the big thing was we hung in there. We hung in there, you know, our kids battled. We have, we have fantastic kids, fantastic players. Obviously, this one hurts. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. But, you know, I think a lot of people didn't expect us to be here. So, uh, that's, that's, that's pretty, pretty something to be proud of. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. At the beginning of the year, did you envision this team being able to gel together to, to prove to the point that you could make it here? I mean, we, we, we had moments. Mm -hmm. We had moments, uh, obviously, earlier in the year we did end up run ruling them, and we run ruled their, their pitcher today. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that changed a little bit in the past month and a half. Um, but, you know, the big thing is our kids, they bust their butts. They're great kids. Mm -hmm. They listen to everything they say. They bought into the program. Um, and, you know, regardless of what people say, regardless of what people thought, we thought we had a chance. We one, really did. Yeah, so. One thing that Ben mentioned is that uh, you guys and them have, have a kind of a plenty of a rivalry going on a little bit. Um, talk to me about how special it is to, 
to to, uh, to run into a team that you play every year in the league, how tough it is to beat them three uh, three times in a yeah, year. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be better next year when they lose all their seniors. <laughs> so, um, I mean, they're a good team. Obviously, we had some battles with them last year. Uh, we split in the regular season this year, so uh, we knew what we had coming in. We knew we'd have to be pretty good. We knew how good Harold is on the mound, um, how good their seniors are, and you know their other guys had some big hits too. Yeah. Um, the first baseman had a big hit. Obviously, they kind of broke the game open, and you know obviously it's hard to win when you don't score any runs. So, I'll say a Colton yeah. pitch pretty good for yeah. you on the mound. Yeah, he just a little wild, a little wild, and he couldn't get his curveball over. I think that was the difference. Um, we knew we'd have to mix it up, especially with you know their big guys at the plate, and unfortunately we couldn't get the curveball over. And, you know, I thought the, the home run was okay. I mean, obviously the home run wasn't the end of the world, but I thought the big difference was actually the catch the center fielder made. We had guys on first and second, one out. Yeah, I was going to ask so, you about yeah, that. You had chances to score in. early in the game. Yeah. That yeah. You felt that like that, a, that kind of took the wind out of your sails a little bit. I think, you know, that was, a, that was a big difference there. He comes in, and even if, let's say, he misses it, I mean, that's, that's probably two runs if he misses it, made a heck of a play. I really think that was a turning point right there. So. Totally changed the game around. Yeah, so. absolutely. absolutely. Hey, hey Coach.